Hi, welcome to another video in my series on centers of mass where we're looking at finding the center of mass of a composite shape for a uniform lamina. Now I've got a lamina here then that consists of a rectangle joined to a semicircle. And you might like to have a go at trying to find where the center of mass will be for this particular lamina. So just pause the video, have a go, come back when ready and I'll run through the work solution so you can check your solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Now the first thing I notice about this lamina is that there is an axis of symmetry. It's symmetrical about, say, this line here, which we'll mark in. We'll call it the x-axis. So therefore we've got a y-axis up through here. Now, we look at the centers of mass then of each of these individual shapes. As for the rectangle, the center of mass will be in the middle here. It will have coordinates which will mark in as one and a half units, zero, 1.5, zero. But when it comes to the semicircle, then you've got to remember the formula for the distance that the center of mass, we'll put it here, is away from this dotted line. It's given by this formula, x bar equals four times the radius divided by three pi. So for this particular semicircle, the radius is four units. So we end up with four times four, which is 16 over three pi. So that's for the semicircle anyway. We'll just write that in there. So when it comes to putting these coordinates in for the semicircle, we know the distance from the dotted line to here is 16 over 3 pi, but we've got to go from the origin here all the way to this point. So it's going to be 3 plus 16 over 3 pi. Let's just mark that in. 3 units plus 16 over 3 pi. And then as for the y coordinate, well, that's going to be zero because it's on the x axis. Now we need to think about the masses now of these two laminas, okay? And it's going to be based on the area. If we say let the mass per unit area, as we've done before in the other videos, equal some constant let's say it's m, then the mass for the rectangle would be the area 8 times 3, which is 24, multiplied by m. So that'd be 24 m units. As for the semicircle, well, we've got the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. That would be pi times 4 squared, the radius being 4. So that's going to be pi times 16, but being a semicircle, we need to divide it by 2, so that's going to be 8 pi. 8 pi is the area. Multiply it now by m, and we've got a mass now of 8 pi m. We need to put on now the center of mass for the whole lamina. It's going to be somewhere between these two values. So let's just put it, say, about here. We'll call it C and we'll give it coordinates. It'll be x bar, but the y coordinate will be zero. Now in the usual way, we're going to now take moments about the x axis and the y axis. So we have the total mass, which we need to mark in. The total mass is going to be 24m plus 8 pi m. I'm going to factorize that and we'll pull out m as a common factor. So we could have 24 plus 8 pi and then we'll put m there. So when we do our equation then for the moments about x and the y axis, we've got the total mass which is going to be 24 plus 8 pi all multiplied by m and that's multiplied by x bar 0 
x bar 0. And that's going to equal the moment of each of these masses about the x and y axis. So for the 24m mass, we've got 24m multiplied by 1.50. 1.5 there, 0 there. And then we've got to add to that the moment of this mass, the 8 pi m. So it's going to be 8 pi m multiplied by 3 plus 16 over 3 pi. 3 plus 16 over 3 pi. And then 0 underneath. All right. Now, when we look at this, the m's cancel. They're in every term. And so we end up with 24 plus 8 pi multiplied by x bar 0 equals, now if you do 24 times 1.5 and plus 8 pi times 3 plus 16 over 3 pi, you should find that you end up with 154.064 and so on. And clearly on the bottom, you're just going to have zero. So when it comes to working out what x bar is, we know y bar is going to be zero. But when it comes to working out what x bar is, x bar is going to equal then 154.064 and so on, divided by 24 plus 8 pi. Now if you do that on your calculator, what you end up with is 3.1356 and so on. And we better round this up to some degree of accuracy. Let's say one decimal place. So it's going to be 3.1 units. Well, in this case, those units will be centimeters to one decimal place. So it's just a little way to the right then of this point here. It's actually going to be over here somewhere. Okay, well I hope that's given you some idea and uh, good luck with any other examples that you do that are similar to this.